Chapter Eight of Rick and Ruddy by Howard Garris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Allison Hester. Chapter Eight: The Old Sailor. One day, when Sig Bailey, the coast guard, was sitting outside the life-saving station making a little boat from a piece of wood, he saw a shadow in front of him a shadow cast on the beach by the bright october sun the lifeguard looked up and saw standing before him a ragged man on whose face grew scraggly whiskers not a good proper beard but whiskers as though the man ought to have shaved but had been too lazy or else had not had the chance if the guard had known this was the same man ruddy had smelled and rumbled at morning mate growled the ragged man as he rubbed his rough scraggy stubby chin can you give me something to eat sig looked closely at the man and then answered slowly well i guess maybe i can ask the captain to he's boss here i'm only one of the crew regular ship rules you have around here eh asked the man something like that yes answered sig in winter we all live here at the station and the captain is in charge in the summer i live inland and come on duty at night but the full crew is here now and well i'll see if i can get you anything sit down the ragged man sat down on the bench outside the coast guard station while sig went to find the captain besides the house in which the captain his wife and the crew lived at the bellamere life-saving station there was another building in which was stored the motor lifeboat and other things by means of which passengers and crews were taken off vessels that might go ashore on the beach some of the crew were working about the boat now painting her and others were looking over the ropes and the bomb gun by which a line is shot out to a vessel when it is too rough to use the boat the captain was in the cottage writing out some reports he had to send to washington there's a man outside who wants something to eat said sig to captain white what sort of man is he looks like a tramp but i guess he's been a sailor to judge by his walk oh well we can't turn anyone away hungry eh mother he asked his wife who was busy in the kitchen i can give him a plate of beef stew she answered guess that would just about fit in his locker spoke sig with a grin i'll take it out to him and presently the wanderer was gratefully eating the hot bowl of stew as he sat on the bench beside sig who had again started work on making the boat sig was going to give the boat to rick when it was finished live around here asked the lifeguard of the tramp no just drifted in i've had hard luck ever since i lost my dog lost your dog exclaimed sig and a queer feeling came into his heart what kind of dog did you have he was sort of reddish a setter i guess he was got washed overboard one night just about off this coast i reckon we were wrecked ourselves right after that and i haven't had any luck since i figure i lost my luck when i lost my dog wish i could get him back sig looked sharply at the ragged man could he be after ruddy End of chapter eight